while the Italians are on the front, he is helping them. He is helping Germany directly with troops. And he has enough military goods for right now to sustain himself. But Germany is out. I don't want to throw mill goods at Germany because I want France to get as much of this shit as is possible. Ideally, I can use Travis to defeat Narfi rather than attacking Narfi myself so that I don't lose anything with France. And then it just doesn't matter. I don't know, I'm curious if I should maybe attack him soon while he's so preoccupied up north. So I can make a little deal with you. What's that? I can't fight a full force right now because I have my borders protected. Yeah? So just a promise that you won't attack me in the back <laughs> in this war. Sure. Alright. You want a non-aggression then? Or? I won't be attacking you during this war. If you want to do a non-aggression, give me those fucking texts. <laughs> <laughs> but either way, I'm not going to attack you in this war. I'm just watching. Okay. I'm out of, like, reservists because I'm pumping out garrisons everywhere. But that's the point. When a war starts, I'm going to get rid of garrisons if I need to in order to get the reservists to deploy more of my troops. I actually, for a little bit, did have some of my navy go and assist Poland against Germany to try to weaken their navy a little bit. How did that go? I only sent some. I lost a couple ships, but I, I definitely hurt some of theirs, but now Poland doesn't really have a coastline, so that's the end of my intervention. Look at all these injured Germans that are getting fucked up right here. Oh man. That's not good. That's not good, and Poland's still alive. The Germans seem to be fizzling out because, well, Poland's still here. <laughs> Yeah, their KDR is still even. Uh, Poland's up here now with a negative KDR, so they've been killing a lot of Poles. But the Soviets have really caught a break now. Yeah, I don't really know what you do. I see some Italian troops at the border of Germany. If you don't want that, uh, turn the bells on off. What'd you say, Nerf? Uh, not Nerf, you fuck. What'd you say, Rez? I said, I don't really know what you should do in regards to invading him or not, or just supporting Germany. Either way, it's kind of just up to you right now. I just don't want to, you know, game over myself. Oh yeah, I know. Uh, it's, it's a very important moment here with strategic decisions to be made. But to be fair, hopefully, I don't, I don't think he would fully take me over. Hopefully, I don't know. If you can get garrisons up with your massive manpower, I don't think he could very easily. Do garrisons take any mill goods or anything, or just reserves? Tiny, tiny amounts. Very tiny amounts of military okay. goods. They mostly just take up reserves. Alright, I max garrison, garrisons in Yugoslavia. I think if I'm gonna do anything, I'm gonna wait till like maybe November. Get everything prepared. Okay, by that point I imagine France will be piling into Germany if they don't fall by then. Oh, I got improved power good 3 at some point. Doesn't really feel like it. I'm already going now for 4. Now the Soviets are pushing, so I actually don't know. Japanese are out of indie goods too. So France will mm. keep, keep up. France is attacking. Oh yeah, it's the incursion. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Okay, well, um, shit. This is all going a historically now. All the incursions have, well, you know, it's probably the incursions, but also the fact that Germany's weakening. Now even France just said, "Fuck it, let's go." Oh fuck me. Yeah, typical France. The. Th Thing is, I, I I don't have enough mill goods for this. I'm at negative right now. Yeah, you at least have a little bit of a stockpile. You're almost maintaining, almost. Um, but yeah, but... this is the time where, like, helping Germany loses its purpose. I mean, yeah. Now that oh. th now that Germany's fucked this up this badly, now it's more about you. I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna do though, because I definitely do not have enough troops to take anything from the Soviets after. Germany's dead. The Soviets have burned down to 500k, so this is still burning through that their Polish stuff fucking with me. <laughs> pretty well, and it looks like they are still not making too much progress. I think if you're lucky, you should just hope that France takes ends up taking more. <laughs> I mean, because yeah, I have a good relation with France, so. France is already out of mill goods, Germany's out of mill goods, Poland is out of mill goods, and Russia still has. Every single person fighting is out of mill goods except for Russia. I could give France mill goods, but it's more important that I have mill goods rather than France at the end of the day. That is more important. 
Well, on the bright side, this is probably the best economy I've ever had on this game. France is running into problems just because they don't have the goods to keep pushing through. If we look at France, they're not doing the greatest, but they do have a roughly even KDR, but they're not making a whole lot of progress. They're pushing past Alsace-Lorraine, but they're not really getting through Frankfurt with all these garrisons here and all the arties the Germans have already loaded up. Yeah, their offensive army isn't going to be strong enough to actually really take much beyond the Maginot by the looks of it. They're just rushing in and getting mostly beat up. If we look at their actual manpower losses, they're losing pretty quickly, and their losses are catching up to their kills now that they're rushing in these units, running out of mill goods, and doing that. At the very least, they survived, and that was my main goal. Poland's got, grabbing some land. We got the Soviets grabbing some land, some of which belongs to Poland. Oh, boy. Um, shit, yeah. So the Soviets may still end up taking most of it, and France may still end up living, kind of like I intended. The French are getting slaughtered up on the front. They're, they're just sending in a bunch of defensive units with military offensive units that are out of ammo and getting slaughtered. On the bright side, uh, France is doing really terribly. Well, that doesn't really help me since we had an agreement about France. It helps you because it means Germany lives longer. The longer Germany lives, the more the Soviets have to burn through their military goods. And they're still burning through them. On the bright side, my losses don't look so bad right now. He's actually lost quite a few troops in this. He's lost... You know how much... He's lost almost 400 units during this. He's killed roughly you know the how... same amount. Do, do you know how much he started out with? Like 800 or something? In terms of what? Units? Uh, length units, yeah. I have no idea, no. Well, either way, 500, or 400 is still 400. Yeah, 400 is still 400, and most of this is not going to be garrisons. His mill bar is still through the roof, and that doesn't take garrisons into account. Those events, that doesn't really matter anymore. Oh, was one the Poland one? No, the Finland one. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why those still show themselves. Oh, the Czechs are fighting too, that's worth something. But the Soviets pretty much have free reign and they are taking stuff. You're gonna have some fun border gore with Poland there, aren't you? Yeah, it's awful. It's good for me anyway. It's good for me. French Navy has subs all around here, that's good. Well, this is not quite how I saw this happening, but the goal is still the same. Germany will be eliminated. France, in a weakened state, shall survive. Poland survived too, that's pretty awesome. The Soviets will get stuff from Germany, which is valuable for them, but they're also being pretty heavily weakened, losing a good bit of units and burning through their military goods. Maybe not as much as they were before, but they are still burning through them. I think we see a turning point. He's starting to make a lot of progress, and he's not burning through his goods as much anymore. I guess this means no rubber for me. <laughs> not unless you can get it from him some other way. Netherlands still exists, so there's always still the DEI, but now you're gonna have to worry about bordering him. Well, and you're, um, you're allied with Haiti. Or, sorry, not Haiti, um, with, uh, the Netherlands. Yeah, but I'm also allied with France, and I didn't join France in this war. But there's still Norway and Belgium in that. Oh, yeah, they're allied. True, true. Yeah, yeah that's, that's interesting. I may go back and, uh, and see if I, we can support each other's government again. <laughs> oh, you're afraid? I mean, yeah, he's stronger than me and has mill goods production that I don't. I only have 37k now. I don't think you need to worry too much about him attacking you. At the very least, if he attacks you, I could just hand you mill goods galore because I have the second largest stockpile. That's good. And his stockpile is almost down to mine. Should I still try to get the get rid of the like indie good micro and mids? It's up to you if you need the production more than you need like the efficiency. Cuz it's financial efficiency really. If your finances are fine, you can keep the inefficient things if you have space. Gotcha. I also believe I'm one of the top exporters of industry goods now. Well, I'm not exporting them, but top producers. You're just behind him. You two are pretty neck and neck in a lot of ways and like you know, probably by this point, you're getting closer and closer in terms of total units. Uh, your res reservists should be pretty similar. Production of a lot of things is pretty similar. Your, like, military production is similar, yeah. He he's getting big swaths of Germany now, though. France barely got anything. Uh, so this is going to be interesting, having a Russia right in Germany. And it was my design. <laughs> I just didn't see it going quite like this. How many land units do you have? Um, in total, maybe 500. Like, that's 550. 
That's pretty good. Are you still doing any fighting, or are you just kind of minding your own? I'm, I'm minding my own business. Well, if I succeeded at anything with my plan, I certainly got rid of Germany, which was a big threat to me, and I Though made... Germany keeps shooting my shit, which, uh... Narfi, the... the big bad here in the situation, and thus have kind of rallied Travis against him in fear. So that's interesting. Looks like France's offensive completely died off. Yeah, their KDR is not great. Uh, but they don't really have... But you know what? They have a lot of troops. They're just put away. They don't have the military goods to repair them. Maybe that's a good thing that I'm not sending them mill goods. I hold them back from going any further. At the very least, if Germany surrenders after Berlin, the supply spread should help France take a little bit more. Oh, this is fun. What have I done? <laughs> what? What have I done? Slovak Republic is barely alive still. Travis doesn't stand a chance against Narfi after this, no sir. With France here, I still have the naval protection that I wanted. I have a shield of other allies that are slowly unifying smaller, weaker ones, but relevant. I'm amazed his bar has not gone down. Oh, but he's taken so much of Germany's production. That'll be interesting. Probably some of Poland's as well. He's now the top producer, so that's going to hurt his total... Well, his diplomatic relations with everyone, thanks to the milk cap penalty. What the hell? Oh, that's France. Their navies are still fighting. Okay. He has both milk cap penalties right now, which is good for me. It's very good for me. I've actually gained the most land. That's funny. Yeah, he's lost a little over 400 units now, but he really turned things around at this point. He's slaughtering. Illy lost almost no units during this, and of course, I lost basically nothing as well. I didn't even lose any goods, really. What is the current military goods of the USSR? It's under 400k. I got, dude, I basically more than half this stockpile and got him down to mine. Looks like the USSR military goods stockpile matches mine now. He's lowered quite a bit. What did he have before? Berlin begins. What did you say, Travis? What did he have before? Like over 800,000. Sheesh. So this really took it away from him to pull this off. They're whispering now, <laughs> probably because Travis is fucking terrified. Uh, poor Germany. I did this to them. This is my doing. He might have done something completely different if not for me making the deal that I made. Land-wise, I have almost 700 troops, so I still have a bigger army than Travis. It's probably higher quality, too. There goes the Slovak Republic. The thing is that, like, you know, most of mine isn't deployed. Most of Italy is probably not deployed. USSRs. Oh, there you go. Whew. Well, goodbye, oh. Germany. France did get more. And a lot of the German units. That's good. That's really good. France basically guards my other allies now. That's a good result. That is what I would hope for. They probably got a little bit of production as well. I doubt they're making any more. They're not that smart, no. But they did get something good out of this which will help them and hopefully help me but yeah this looks a lot different man well europe looks fun right now yeah right <laughs> you actually ended up taking some of poland's shit yes a little bit the good news is france stopped him from getting that western industry just by supply spread that's like the most condensed part of the german industry and population over there i tried to do a deal with him but maybe it was too uh too much for him did he say no what was the deal I, I, I offered Indie Goods if I can have some of his uh, tank designs. Yeah, he's not going to do that. <laughs> he, he he wouldn't trade me any tech when I went to him of any kind. Uh, well, it was worth a shot. Well, it looks like I've upgraded no to the T-16 Mark One from my previous infantry. That's good. We're getting better recon as well. I haven't been checking this too much. I just haven't needed to. We got the Mark IV cruiser tanks. That's going to be way better than all the other shit we have from the older days. We can get rid of the Matildas and really everything leading up to the Mark IVs, maybe. But I'll... I don't know. Yeah, I guess I'll get rid of everything leading up to the Mark IVs for the cruisers because they're just... They're pretty good. We want to have a modern military that doesn't consume a whole lot of reservists. And that's what I've been aiming for having this whole time we can get rid of these marines they don't really matter we could probably get rid of the commandos as well honestly we just want to stick with the motorized mechanized infantry i have now arty that is debatably better than what germany gave me earlier so i think i will exclude their arty this might make my ai go a little nuts in terms of wanting to rebuild certain things we have some better aa as well yeah i think we need to look at some modernization here uh, more room build a little bit of indie goods although it's very little room and this is a uh, a very valuable 
thing for sure. Let's build another five. Uh, we're good on all of our resources. Oil could still use some improvement, but we're out of our stock of indie goods. Nobody else really has any stock. U.S. has some that we can buy from them for a retarded price. China's out. Japan's. I can't believe they're still at war. They're still fighting each other this whole time. Oh my god, China has amazing amounts of military goods. We need to buy those immediately. They might have been sent to him. These were probably sent to China by Russia, if I had to guess. But I don't know, actually. I really don't. There you go. We bought a whole bunch of these mill goods. If these are Soviet, then it's good that we're buying them. We're going to buy as much of this as we can. I don't know if it was his doing, but I noticed that um, China had a lot of military goods. That was definitely his doing. I really want to intervene in China, I just don't know how. Well, the good news is I went ahead and bought almost all of them, so China no longer has them. The good news is for you. Oh. <laughs> I guess that works. So now I have even more mill goods, which I'm sure I'll need when it comes to dealing with him. A long time ago, all the rubber I was making finished, and as we can see, we're not even making most of the rubber that we made. Like, we're not even using it because there's just... Not that much of a market now that the USSR makes their own. The USA is the biggest consumer of it, and the USSR can almost sate that demand by themselves. Italy needs some, but he doesn't really have any production. He doesn't need that much, unfortunately. Making five of these Indie Goods factories isn't pushing our luck too much, which is good. So we could probably make some oil as well while we're at it. Let's say up here we can fit a few productions in. There's always the optimization of supply I could do as well to up production of things, but... In terms of resources, we don't need to. In terms of the UK, supply is decent. It could be better, but it's decent. A few strategic air bases here or there on some seaports could definitely make a big difference in the supply here, though. I think I might do that. I'll place a few strategic air bases to try to buff up my production of some things in the mainland. That would end up probably being more important. We don't need these seaports right next to each other. I'll probably just go ahead and... Uh, Scrap this one. Let me make sure there's no... Get those deployed. Let me make sure there's that we're not going to accidentally delete a whole bunch of ships or anything. Well, I'm hoping the supply spread from these strategic locations should help with the indie good production as well. Uh, but we're consuming now a lot. Due to the mixture of everything that we're building, France is still out of military because they have a whole bunch of units in reserve that they still need to repair. And then they have... Probably even more production now, and probably not enough production of indie goods and military goods. And the AI is not too smart about building more of that stuff. So we're probably not going to see any of that happen. You can see a lot of the Soviets are going home. He's building way more military goods production. It's probably stalling out. He's building so fucking much of it. Oh god, Travis, he's building so much military goods production. Oh, that's great. It's definitely going to be stalling out, I'd imagine. Well, actually, no, I think last I checked. Yeah, no, he has a good amount of indie goods. He's scrapping stuff or buying it. Probably scrapping stuff to make it happen. Yeah, he's building up mill goods production like crazy. He's going to, he's already surpassed me. He's going to have way more than me after this. Shit, that ain't good. I, I guess I'm not going to be selling my indie goods on the market then. If we're going to stop him, it might have to be soon. We might have to do a joint invasion to kick him out of Europe at the very least so he doesn't have access to German and Romanian things. Uh, the way I'm looking at it is if his indie goods production really can hold this, if he can dismantle enough, and he's a smart player, so that one's well. <laughs> then we're gonna we're gonna need to maybe do a dual attack, you in Romania, Bulgaria, and me in Germany. It sounds good to me. I'm still boggled we just gotta looking at all this. this. Correctly. Yeah, it's a little bit of a mindfuck. Yeah, a little bit. I already see a good point where I can get a barracks and hopefully get in without him noticing me coming. I can get ready for this and probably be ready for it rather soon, honestly. It's just, it's more about when do you think you could be ready? How about March? Oh, he's out of indie goods right now. He, he just ran out for, he did something. That's good. I think I'll be ready by March. That's, that's a little bit from now, but yeah, I could try. I mean, I can address that time. I just want to be prepared. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. I'm gonna get my land forces deployed, all of them. See where I stand right now in terms of them, because I think I could do some real good damage. He hasn't even, like, barricaded anything up here yet. 
The thing is, this might put me at odds with France, because he's clearly got transit with them, of course. I don't know. He might have mutual defense as well. This might put me at odds with he, France he and maybe Poland. Something's up, Rez. Why is that? Well, he he just offered to uh, do, a, do, do a dual evasion at some point. <laughs> I, I think he's just preparing because we're, we're all at the same point. But if you look at the map right now, you, you can see who's the bigger threat. Yeah, the downside is this might put me at odds with France, um, and I might have to fight France. But France doesn't have mill goods, so I'm not too worried about that. I just I would need to kick him out of Germany as much as I can, and we'll we'll see what Poland does. But Poland doesn't like me too much, even while I'm supporting them. So, but yeah, my deals are have pretty much finished now. I'll have to worry about Iran and Iraq as well. Here, I'll get my new uh, infantry, so maybe I'll be able to have some new ones by the time. Starts. So I'll have to split my troops a little bit. Well, producing units takes a long time. They won't be ready for that. If we strike him at any point where we can actually take advantage of something here, it would be too late to pump out new infantry, but they could certainly replace the losses, you know? His military goods are starting to recover. He has gotten more indie goods again. He's he's building so much military goods production right now. Let's do he's doubled he's anyway. doubled my military production. My military goods production. Yeah, he's he's it's insane. Let me start preparing an evasion force. Do you want to get um, line of sight and uh, uh, transit stuff? No, we don't need that. We just need to attack him in two different spots. Okay. I don't know why I'm sailing over here. I just run through India, but that works. <laughs> this works, I guess. It accomplishes the same goal. My bar is as full as his is, at least. He hasn't started garrisoning everything or anything in Germany yet. So long as we can kick him out of there, we can accomplish some good shit. Although I'm curious to see how this will play in with Poland and France. We might be fighting both of them as well, but the two of us together should be able to do things pretty well. This is going to be risky piling all up right here, but I'm going to do it and we're going to hope that he just doesn't see anything. So he's offering me one design for some indie goods. I wouldn't do it. He needs that for a reason. I'm getting my units in position right now. That's that's how urgent this is. Yeah, I, I, I'm i going to be ready by the end of January. Uh, I'll go into Germany. I might have to deal with Poland and France there as well, honestly. I don't really know. But I'll, I'll go into Germany. You you just focus on the, the Balkans and push up there. The main thing is that I don't want him to push through Austria. That makes sense. Just get close. just get garrisons there. If it's loyal to you, you can make him release it anyway. You leave some units there, but in your push, you know, in your push, focus on going through the Balkans, to, so you can get around Poland. He has ships sailing around here. He could see what I'm okay, doing the at guy any time. Be in soon. Godspeed, man. Godspeed. Uh, so February first, do we declare war? I I'll I'll tell you when everything's in position, and when everything's in position, we can go for it. Okay, I am in position. I'm as in position as I can get. <laughs> One tiny issue is I don't have justification. How much do you have? Twelve. Oh god. You're at delighted at least. Do you know how much it'll hurt me? Maybe a decent bit. Well, we gotta do it. You might have unprovoked against him still. I mean, it's February 2nd. I'm ready whenever you are. Yeah. You wanna start it now or do you wanna wait? Um, I, I don't know how long justification's gonna take. So I guess we gotta do it now. It would take a good amount of months, maybe half a year. Oh shit, this is gonna hurt. So is that how we're starting now? Yeah, let's do it. You first or me? You first, just so I know. <laughs> oh, double teaming me. <laughs> how bad did that hurt him? Okay, you're still satisfied. What do I get to deserve this? Okay, good. <laughs> you're building too fucking quickly. Yeah, man. Too I'm many. You over. just, you too just doubled your bro. fucking military goods production. Holy shit, man! I, I, I had to rush this shit. You can't just sit there and double your military goods production like it's nothing. How'd you even do I that? That's because of Germany. <laughs> no, I was watching. They did not bring you up that much. I saw as much as you were building. <laughs> and I saw where they were building. There, That was in Russia, not Germany. <laughs> you can't try to become two of us and expect us to sit around. Not.
Why not? This is why not. Anyway, I'm ready. <laughs> Let's get the air units deploying all around. And the naval units now that now so we And that rotor relationship with literally everybody. Yeah, but you at least still have your world market opinion and hopefully this works out well. Yeah. So we lost mutual defense with Canada, Poland, and well, US. This needs to go really good or really bad. Hopefully with both of us, it'll be okay. Poland, I cannot get it back. US I can. Oh, by the way, Nerfy, um, for obvious reasons, I'm gonna, uh, let's, you know, break the, uh, uh supporting government thing. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, just. All, yeah. <laughs> really? Oh, dude, I was gonna support you through all this, man. <laughs> I thought we were bros. I wanna say, though, if he focuses solely on me, I'm gonna need help. So, your your main plan, are you coming in from the north? <laughs> that was really difficult. <laughs> Yes, I'm coming in from the north. If you need help, I'll blast right through to the south, and I'll, I'll help you out there. I'm going to be stopped by Poland eventually anyway, so. All right, sounds like a plan. I really hope this goes well. <laughs> Can we do normal speed, or will that break the game? We could do normal speed. Okay. Wait. Well, I mean, not right this second, but later. You know what's so funny about this war, uh, Narfi, is that this is just like what happened at the... Yeah. It was military units. It's because you decided to build up 10,000 military units. And so me and Chibi were like, bro, fuck that shit. Hello? <laughs> but now it's military goods. You decided to get more than both of our goods combined. Just out of nowhere. So, no. <laughs> out of nowhere, he says. Yeah, yeah, you were building so many of them. You were building dozens of these things at once. All right, we got our barracks. That's good. We also need to um, adjust this. We need to adjust the ROE. All I'm the air in the world. Bit, but he is doing damage. Yeah, he's getting in my way now too. He's deploying a bunch of units in Germany. I have my a big air raid that's about to come in though. That'll hopefully do some big damage to him. <laughs> my hands are shaking. <laughs> it's exciting though, right? Uh, yeah. I feel bad because it's always you that finds yourself in these positions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not that bad, obviously. Oh, no, because I still need to win. And if you have this much production, buddy, uh, we have a problem. Well, you can also say, for, hey, Nafi, stop with the production. You don't do anything I want you to do. I would have done it. Well, we can make that part of the peace agreement. <laughs> you already know what I want in the peace agreement. Oh, he's got so much over here. He has so much over here. My air is coming in and bombing his shit, but he's got a lot of really good shit up here. We're not losing too much just yet. I don't know how much we've killed, honestly, but I okay, imagine well, the good news is I'm starting we're doing to make a progress. good number. Yeah, we're Slowly. killing more than we're losing, that's for sure. The air is helping. What'd you say? I'm starting to make a little bit of progress. Oh, that's good. He's throwing a lot of air and land at me in Germany, so I'm kind of stuck at Hamburg at the moment. I have a barracks where he's stuffed a fuck ton of units into just right in front of me. I am killing them, but he's gonna slow me down here. He's got his like entire air force over here, it feels like. Are you dealing with air raids? A little bit, but not too much. I have so much of his air up here right now. Oh, looks like I've broken through his line here. By the looks of it, maybe. It feels like it. No, he still has this part, but yeah, no, I feel like I am breaking through the lines actually kind of steadily. Some of his navy's over here, but we're going to dominate all of his navy that's over here, which is good. Yeah, I still have all these units here that haven't done anything. I kind of forgot about him. I don't, I don't know, man. He's... I'm kind of losing quite a bit. How much? Uh, I mean, I'm losing a couple units a day. Uh, your loss... I'm looking at your losses. You haven't lost that much. So far, it's still going well overall. This, this is a... This is not going to be decided immediately. He has a lot of military goods, and he's going to have to expend a lot of them during this. Every little bit of damage you do is important in the long run. We're only on normal speed, so the war's barely begun, so. Sorry, I'm just really worried. <laughs> oh, yeah, his hands are fucking shaking, man. I just opened a second front with him in the Caucasus, so don't worry. Shit, I, I, I want to need help down south, yo. What happened? Oh, he... he he's, he's coming from the north. You have garrisons up? Yeah. Okay, well, they, they they can probably hold well enough. I am I need to grind through them up here to get down to you, mind you. Move units if you need to. The push is less important than simply dealing damage to him. One problem I have is that I'm so locked up over here because 
he has so many units literally right here and all my units are kind of stuck up here as well in a way we have bullets but we've moved in here so fast the supply is kind of small we need more supply to just actually break through have this to go AFK at all we need to do here is do a lot of damage and then get him to basically say hey man I, I want to make a peace agreement and I'm willing to give some shit up that's what we need to do here to really even the odds a little bit after this, I'm not gonna be able to go to war for a while, though. Yeah, this, uh... yeah, me neither, bro. <laughs> he has a mass wave of his units up here, and I'm slowly grinding away at them. The good news is, man, don't. If your side's going a little bad, which it might be, just know yeah, I've killed, I've killed like 90 units, and I've only lost like eight. So if you're not doing that well, just hold in there. I'm doing really well so far. Uh, it's a bit of a slog in terms of actually gaining land, but I am doing well. And all we need is a peace up. settlement. We just need to hurt enough of his units that we can get some kind of good peace settlement going on. Good news is I'm pushing in Bulgaria, but the bad news is he's pushing in Italy. I'm starting to finally see the end of his units up here in Hamburg, I, just by sheer force of numbers. He's gotten garrisons up everywhere now. Yeah, he held me off here long enough to get all these garrisons up. His bar is still through the roof, and mine actually isn't anymore. Even with full spending. Oh, that's impressive. But I haven't even been losing very much. Which is equally impressive. I don't know how he's holding on this much. But I know I've been killing loads of his. And I really have not been losing very much. I've been losing some, but not very much. 